Ahead of the governorship election in Edo State on Saturday, the 21st of September 2024, a coalition of civil society group has organized an interactive section with political parties and their candidates in Edo State. The event, which took place at the Protea Hotel on Supply Road in Benin City, drew the attendance of the governorship candidate of NMPP, Pastor Azeme Azena, the governorship candidate of Accord Party, Bride in Nabulele, governorship candidate of ACC Comrade Udo, and representative of of APC candidate Washington Osifo. The event attracted members of various civil society and political groups. In an opening remarks, the Catholic Bishop of Benin Diocese, Reverend Father Augustine Obiora Akubweze, represented by Reverend Benedict, while lauding the initiative, called on the candidate to center their interest on the people and maintain good conduct. It is our collective responsibility to ensure that this electoral process is marked by civility and respect. Let us remember that every citizen's voice and life counts, and we must create a safe space for everyone to express their views. We encourage all candidates and supporters to engage in peaceful dialogue and to reject any form of violence or intimidation. They call for peaceful election and accountability to the people by the political class from the trust of the speech delivered by the chairman of Nigeria Union of Journalists, Comrade Festus Alehe, and the president of Congo, Comrade Patololomi. There's no need for us to kill ourselves before we run on Saturday. Let's go to the post peacefully. But again, as journalists in Edo State and in Nigeria, we owe it as a responsibility to ensure that whatever way the election goes, it will be news for us. On Saturday, the election is peaceful. It will be news, very big news. But again, if it turns sour and then anybody is killed whatsoever, it will also be news. Sometimes, to somebody can who get an award for taking stories where so many people are killed. And that is how it goes. That is why I want to appeal to them now. For the next few days, lay down on a uh, hate speech. Play down on issues that would like you to violence. Play down on character assassination. Play down on campaign of uh, calumny. At this time, focus on issues. What you can do better. What alternative way you, know you can do it. How do you want to do it? That is what to do at this point in time. Mobilize your, your supporters to go out peacefully and vote for you. Their speeches set the stage for the panelist section with the governorship candidate who highlighted their manifestos which speak to what they will do when voted into power. If I come up with all this, use the word economic rescue plan, my son better for you. I'll break it down. At the end of the day, just before one will be rescued, we have economic sabotage. It's not enough. I am the champion of monetary infrastructure. My infrastructure will not only help the door, will help Nigeria. We struggle today with IMF, the way we send money. Because when you borrow money in dollars, you cannot forgive your debt. But when you borrow money in your local currency, you can forgive your debt. America can forgive that debt. China forgive that debt. To struggle to be that person who will provide leadership for those things. Leadership that will bring development in all sectors, in education, in road development, in agricultural sector, in health sector, in job creation, and recognizing that it is only a healthy society that can bring healthy contribution. We say New Nigeria, we say education for all. One of the things we believe so much is that education, the level we are seeing it today is not what we want to see. We want to work on our education. Uh, my values and principle, which is termed humanity first, which later became uh, the theme of our campaign, humanity first, it has been a lifestyle for me and it also ties with our party the manifesto of our party, the People's Manifesto for Total Liberation. The manifesto comes from the People's Liberation, uh, 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 the People's uh, uh, Manifesto for Total Liberation of the African Action Congress. The occasion also offered the audience the opportunity to ask questions and get feedback from the governorship candidate. How will you, if given a chance to be elected as a governor of the state, how can a, a, a governor or those in hell of affairs be uh, apprehended if they fail to adhere strictly to uh, manifesto which they 
profess for the people they are going to carry out. Who are you? Um, what is your antecedent? We know this one that BVABC. Who are you? How long have you lived here? And I'm asking this question because if you are being elected as an aspirant, what are you going to do to help to pass information direct to the route? As the clock ticks towards the election, it is the firm hope of the organizers that the goal of the occasion would be achieved. Austin, I am reporting for VSTV News.